in my one of my earlier videos, I defined what psychogenic non-epileptic seizures um, are by using Google's default definition. And um, I no longer want to use that definition because one, it's not comprehensive. It actually doesn't tell the average person anything. And in fact, it doesn't even t tell medical professionals anything because there are so many definitions out there. There are so many characteristics and so many, so many insane things, to be honest. Um, so much research that I've done over the year and over the last uh, four months specifically, I have found so many misconceptions and it has just given me a deeper passion to get information out um, for mental health generally. Uh, and but of course specifically right now for PNES and conversion disorders it's really important that people understand so that they can they can throw away that thought that bias that stigma um, and their belief that what they're seeing is a person faking a seizure it's absolutely insane <laughs> this absolutely crazy as a person who has these and who was traumatized for months at the onset uh, when I was first diagnosed absolutely traumatized it'd be awesome if I was that good of an actress because I would be amazing in Hollywood I'm not I, I can't do that so <laughs> my definition very comprehensive feel free to use it psychogenic non-epileptic seizure is essentially an anxiety attack or a panic attack with such extreme levels of anxiety that the brain key here the brain malfunctions not the body the brain is what is malfunctioning which of course affects the body um, so yes brain malfunction that's for all mental health by the way <laughs> it's not behavior it is how our brain functions or malfunctions that is what determines a diagnosis personal pet peeve <laughs> that I'm trying to not be upset about right this second but um, okay focus uh, I do a lot better <laughs> when I'm actually sharing this with people uh, our brains malfunction and they become protective our brains go into an a very very intense protective mode and stops our bodies from um, absorbing any more energy because stress is energy and just like uh, in the earth um, we have earthquakes because there's such an immense amount of of um, pressure and stress that it literally shakes the earth the earth has to release that energy it's the exact same thing for us so two analogies that you can use um, they are um, anxiety attacks that are so extreme that our brains malfunction and we have physical um, physical reactions which look like seizures they are seizures, they're not epileptic seizures, but there's no word out there to define what we have um, outside of seizures. So mimicking seizures, we can say that. So um, let's see, there are a lot of different types. So that's really important uh, for people to know that there's not just one type. That was actually something that I learned, which was surprising that I didn't know that already or didn't assume that uh, not everyone had the same type of seizures as me so um, people experience them differently just because they don't have the same type that you've heard or that you have or that you've seen does not mean they don't have PNES or a conversion disorder um, I feel very disorganized right now <laughs> that's what happens when I get passionate about what I'm talking about um, yes so we have an anxiety attack 
it mimics the same thing that the earth does when it has an earthquake it releases energy so that is what our body does our brain shuts down and our body releases that energy that generate that is generated by stress I think that is complete um, I hope that's comprehensive I know it took me a long time to get there um, but I do hope it's helpful